moving on now uh, about tbna uh, tblb and ebb so before uh, going to the topic proper let us have a look at the history tbna was first per performed in 1948 with rigid bronchoscope whereas uh, tblb was performed by anderson in 1963 till then open uh, surgical methods were used to obtain lung samples later uh, wong et al in 1979 he designed a prototype needle for uh, flexible bronchoscope and uh, in 2002 ebus tbn tbna was first time introduced by 2007 ebus tbna and tbb had been widely accepted by clinicians for routine uh, clinical practice moving on these procedures uh, as transformed the diagnostic approach of thoracic diseases from a surgical to a minimally invasive procedure it is performed by pulmonologist during flexible bronchoscopy the aspiration is done by using 21 by 22 gauge needle whereas the biopsy by using flexible forceps so we have two types of uh, this uh, tbna or tbb one is called as ctbna other one is ebus tbn CTBNA is called as conventional TBNA or TBB, where uh, this is a bronchoscopic procedure without the aid of endobronchial ultrasound. Whereas EBUS uh, TBNA or TBB is a bronchoscopic technique that uses ultrasound to visualize the airways and lung parenchyma. So the main advantage being it enables the real-time guidance of transbronchial needle aspiration and biopsy. The advantages of this uh, method are it's a cost-effective, safe, and can be performed on open outpatient basis second it allows a broad sampling capability and also for rapid on site evaluation to know the adequacy of sample then it can be performed alongside a diagnostic bronchoscopy moving on this is our bronchoscopic suite with uh, row station this is a uh, flexible uh, bronchoscope with uh, ultrasound probe and this is the cannula to insert the needle for aspiration or uh, the forceps for, to take the tissue sample So now uh, let us move on to indications uh, for this uh, TBNA, TBB, or EBB. The main indication is uh, to obtain tissue sample for initial diagnosis to establish whether it is a infectious, inflammatory, or a neoplastic etiology, and uh, the conditions like uh, the patients with pulmonary diseases, endobronchial masses, or endobronchial lesion, peribronchiolar lesion, or mediastinal lymphadenopathy, or mediastinal masses. and also it can be used for uh, to obtain samples for microbiological study like uh, either for bacterial or fungal culture then uh, to determine the stage of lung cancer which is important uh, is uh, like well, there is a sampling of mediastinal lymph node which uh, help us to stage lung cancer and also help us to uh, understand or uh, manage the patient either by surgical or medical line of management then uh, uh, fourth one is restaging of lung cancer after cytotoxic therapy in this case uh, to uh, know the uh, treatment effect on the cancer and its response second uh, to plan for uh, further line of management then evaluation of tumor genetic markers this is indicated in patients with non small cell lung carcinoma with adenocarcinoma histology when these patients are uh, planned to give targeted therapies